Welcome to this video guys. If I try to create a new project using npx, I'm getting this error. As you can see, I get this error that says npx is not recognized. So let's see how we can fix this. So this error can occur because of two issues. One is node and npm is not added to environment variables or node is not installed. So let's first go to our browser and install node. If you think you have node already installed, you can skip ahead to the part where I add the npm and node files to environment variables. Okay, so I'll have this link in the description. You can copy it from there and you can just click on download node.js or if this home page has changed, just click on downloads and then click on pre-built installer and the defaults will be selected for you. Just click on download node and the download will start. Once the download is complete, just click on open file and the node setup wizard will open. Click on next, accept the license terms, click next and this is where your node will be installed. If you don't have storage left in C drive, you can just click on change and choose another directory. From here, you can go back and choose any other directory that you want. But for now, I'll just choose the default directory. Click on next again, click next. No need to check this, click next again. And finally, click on install. If you are asked, do you want to allow changes to your device? Click on yes, and the installation will start. Once the installation is complete, just click on finish and go back to your VS code and close it and restart again. So I'll open Visual Studio Core again. And now this time, if I run this command again, I'm still getting this error, but this time the error is different. It is saying it's because of execution policies. This means that we are not allowed to run this command. So what we can do is press your Windows key and type VS code. And this time, instead of just opening it, you need to open it as administrator. So what you can do is click here and click on run as administrator. Again, you'll be asked, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Click on yes. And this time, let's run the command again. And let's give a project name. Let's call it my project. Now let's try running that command again. So the command is npx, create react app, hit enter. And you're getting this error. But if you notice, this is a different error, not the same error as before. So this is because of execution policy. So what you can do is here, you might be seeing PowerShell. So you can click on this arrow and instead of PowerShell, click on command prompt. And now run this command npx create react app. And you need to give an app name here, but I'll not give it just to see if the command works or not. And as you can see now it is working. So you might be using it in PowerShell, which will give you this error. So use it in command prompt and your error will be resolved. So this is how you can use NPX in Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.